You know, there's an old saying, you can't surround a man with a barking 38 in his hand. There's some truth to that. Now, 38 revolver is old school. It's slow, but you have something called deliberation of fire and something you always need to remember as a citizen defender. Every round you fire, you are responsible for. Now today, I wanted to show you this beautiful Model 15 Combat Masterpiece. Now this has been in other videos, and uh, I've had other grips on this gun. I had some uh, bonded ivory grips made by Altamont, which are polymer. And my friend, the crazy Scotsman, made the comment that with a beautiful old gun like that, I really needed wooden grips. And maybe the crazy Scotsman isn't so crazy after all. So I ordered these from Thailand, and they have the Smith & Wesson logo. I don't know that they're authorized to use it, but hey. Uh, these are what you call combat grips. Now these have a bare back strap. They also have the finger grooves. Now along with these grips, I wanted to show off this new holster that Mark Thomas made for me. And this is a very beautiful holster. Now Mark contacted me several weeks ago and wanted to know if he could make a holster for me. And in our ensuing conversations, he talked about the fact that his dad was left-handed and that he wished that he could have made a left-handed holster for his dad and that he was kind of doing this as a tribute to his dad. Now this is a variation of a Jordan style holster and usually a Jordan style holster will sit at this angle but I asked Mark to do this as a straight drop. The reason being that the holster can ride either on the strong side or can do a cross draw on the weak side. I also asked for a strap. Uh, I like the strap. They used to call it back in the 80s a suicide strap, but even back then I much preferred this to retain the gun as opposed to a thumb brake. And if you practice, it's not anything that you can't uh, learn to navigate and to do relatively quickly. Now looking at this holster, man, this is so beautiful. And Mark also put the lion stamp right there. Now this holster is not so much a concealed carry holster, although you could this time of year when you're wearing more clothing, but this is more of a field holster or even a duty holster. Now one of the nice things that Mark did is he actually made me a second holster that you'll see in another video. And when I got this one, this was originally for a, a Model 10. And it just seemed to, to fit the personality of this combat masterpiece. So the other holster is going to be for my Model 10. Now the ironic thing about Mark contacting me about making me a holster is that uh, you know, since it's gotten colder weather, I've been carrying a full-size duty uh, revolver, a Model 64, sometimes my Model 10, as my concealed carry, as my daily carry. And some of you may say, Greg, you own high-quality polymer pistols, higher capacity, and why are you carrying an old clunky revolver? Well, you know, bottom line is that weight helps with accuracy. And, you know, I get a lot of accuracy out of a full-size revolver. It's dependable, it's grab and go. But most important, as my old friend, Mr. Holster has said a few times, Greg carries a revolver because he likes them. And that's the whole thing. I like revolvers. Now, there are times that I might carry a semi-auto with higher capacity, but for most of my day-to-day -day travels, you know, this is more than enough. 
to protect my life and the life of my loved ones. So if you get a chance, check out Mark's channel and you'll see some other examples of some very beautiful work he's done for all kinds of handguns. And this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness saying, thank you, Mark.